it's a confusing time. Everyone sort of is trying to digest what all of this means. And I feel like the most important thing to me that I've discovered in this period of time, particularly being a man in this business, is to listen. This takes a lot of work and will from everyone. It's not just like after Goodwill Hunting, you know, somehow this started. Because I was executive produced and distributed by Harvey Weinstein? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's been millennia. This is like turning the Titanic, mm-hmm. yeah. you know? Sure, yeah. How do we behave moving forward? You were close to Jeff Bowman, who's a real life inspiration for Stronger. Like, mm-hmm. how do you deal with making the subject okay with the story, but also doing your own thing? Well, it's always different. Like, when you play real people, it's always, some get it, and some, you know what I mean? I don't know, yeah. some don't. There's a massive responsibility, right? I felt that. It just given the subject matter of, of the film that I made, I think there's this, this you know, not only to Jeff, but to all the survivors, you know, to anybody who knows about that event. I think the pressure's on to make sure that you do it right, that you do it honestly, and that you are thoughtful and, uh, and accurate. And I think that's what Jeff wanted. That's what Hugh sets feel like when we work together. It's like it always comes from that space of like people who are egoless and yeah. wanting to do something good and wanting everyone else to succeed in that yeah. space, you know? Yeah. And I mean, with as much competition as there is all the time in the space of actors, yeah. it's so, that was the best part. It allowed for so much discovery from uh, on my own when somebody who is the leader of the group says like, yes, <laughs> like, that's amazing. You're, you know, and I think that, ju- that encouragement always allows you to make bolder choices. I would say you should, just working with this man is a really, truly joy. He's the nicest guy in the world, but he's also really, really fun to work with. I've uh, heard that about you. Well, I told you before we came <laughs> on. Yeah, yeah, I'm the nicest guy you've ever met. So, and I told James to tell you as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, Did you tell I him? Told you. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. But no, you put it really well, it's that dance. That's when it's at its height. And right. you really feel beyond all, all this going on and script or right. expectations when you really just are, are playing and something takes off. Yeah. That's where it, that's... But you know, getting, getting back to that question you asked about people being vetted, yeah. uh, you know, I think it's a responsibility and an honor to be here doing what we do. You know, and I think there is some, you know, I talk about Hugh and what, how he behaves on set because he understands and he does his, his work with gratitude. There is still room to be an adult and a grown-up and a gentleman, and that is necessary. And I mean, I try, but you are a great model of it. So in terms of all that, like, I think that's the, may we look up to people who are true gentlemen yeah. and real adults. And let that be a representation of who you are. To Hugh! You. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Yeah, what can I, say? Yeah. I mean, you guys are cool, but I worked with him and he's <laughs> awesome. Um, well, is that something that you're conscious of, Hugh, that especially on a film where maybe you're first on the call sheet, do you feel an added responsibility, a sense of leadership? Every yeah, day well, I was, I was taught that by Maureen Lipman on my, one of my first things uh, on, you know, work, work in the Royal National Theatre and maybe a British or a theatre thing, but there is an unspoken feeling that someone kind of has to take the lead, but I think generally in film it's a director, it's a director's medium. And I think the director is the leader, and as a, even as a lead actor, your job is to be like the second in command to that director. But yeah, I think we all have to take responsibility, as you do for this interview. You take responsibility for the environment. That's the most important thing to create, where a, a, a safe environment, I think, where everyone can feel they can really be themselves and take risks and learn and do things. That's the hardest thing to create. And, and, and actually, sometimes just being a nice guy on set or a leader, that can be BS too. Like you just ha- really have to find something where we're really getting to the humanity of a yeah. scene, the humanity of it. But I learned that from the theatre, that it's up to the acting troupe or the people on set to create the atmosphere. I just have unbelievable empathy and am so inspired by all the people coming out. I think the amount of shame and guilt that is attached to this entire subject and the courage it takes to step forward is humbling to me. I don't think it matters if you're a man or a woman, if you're old or young, if you're a parent or not. It's a human issue and uh, I'm really glad the conversation's out there. It's a great opportunity beyond not just for our industry, really amongst society. An issue which has obviously been sort of pasted over is no longer.
been told no his whole life. So, hey, I'm like James Dean, you know, and you can imagine the whole world saying, uh, no, you're not, dude. And so, like, you know, you're, you're like, I want to shoot on 35 millimeter and HD at the same time. Like, at why, Tommy? Time. Because nobody ever do it before. So. And like, his one stipulation was that you have a scene in the movie. He didn't, no way. His, he's like, I want my name to be Han Ray. Like, you won't, we won't know it's you if your name Han Ray. And he had drawn on a mustache with a big pen. If you like mustache, I draw it on better when we shoot. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, 